Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video we're going to talk about electrical distribution boxes, the different types there are, what their functions are and how they can be used. The distribution box is a very key component to an electrical supply system. From a single common enclosure, it helps to divide an electrical power main feed into multiple subsidiary outgoing connections that can be used to provide electrical connections to individual homes buildings or for other requirements. Let us have a look at the main functions of a distribution box. Distribution boxes act as an overall management box as they handle the following functions of power division, distribution, measurement, protection and control. There are three types of material commonly used for electrical distribution boxes. The first one is engineering thermoplastics such as polycarbonate or PC or ASA. Epoxy coated steel is also used to make metallic deep drawn distribution boxes. The third are thermoset plastics such as sheet molding compounds or SMC. First, let's talk about polycarbonate distribution boxes. This range of distribution boxes is manufactured from polycarbonates or PC or ASA. The body of the PC distribution box is made of UV resistant fire retardant engineering thermoplastic so that they are safe for all conditions. These boxes are recyclable so they have a lower impact on the environment and are preferred more than the other distribution boxes. These boxes have an option for spring loaded connections or bus bar connections and are used to make multiple connections from a single enclosure to a household. The spring loaded type design also allows for quick mounting of cables in PC boxes. The PC distribution boxes eliminate the use of multiple piercing connectors on the main cable thereby simplifying your cable management. Next comes the metallic deep drawn boxes. Deep drawn boxes are manufactured from epoxy coated deep drawn steel. These boxes are electrically conductive and it is the epoxy coating that makes them insulated. So if there happens to be any damage to the epoxy coating of the box, it can cause the box to go live and cause an electric shock to people who come in contact with it. The deep drawn boxes also have an option for the bus bar or terminal block connections and are used to make multiple connections from a single box. These connections can be used for distribution to households. The bus bar can be made from copper or aluminium as per the requirements of the housing project, while the housing for the terminal block is made from engineering thermoplastics. These boxes also eliminate the use of multiple piercing connectors on the main cable and thus make cable management much easier. Finally, the SMC distribution box. SMC distribution boxes are made from a polymeric plastic that undergoes irreversible chemical changes when cured. As a result, these distribution boxes are not recyclable. SMC boxes are electrically non-conductive and safe for handling. These boxes also have an option for the spring-loaded or the bus bar connections which are used to make multiple connections from a single enclosure. This design allows for easy and quick mounting of the cables. All the distribution boxes that we've spoken about earlier are weather resistant and thus ideal for outdoor users. Comparing the three types, we can see that PC boxes are the most reliable and safe for the environment and handling. SMC boxes used to be the most commonly used type of distribution box. But considering the environmental impact of SMC boxes, they have been replaced by PC boxes. We also have to consider the weight and dimensions of the product when making a purchase decision about distribution boxes because of shipping and handling of these products. Because the factory and the site of installation can be a, a huge distance. Therefore, the epoxy coated deep drawn steel boxes tend to be the heaviest while again the PC boxes are some of the lightest boxes in these three options. If you want to learn more about the electrical industry and the different products that are used for electrical distribution systems, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel.